Today I am recording a video to teach you all about um, a landscape. We are going to do a project and you are going to choose a, to make a landscape. A landscape is a picture, a painting, a drawing, a collage of um, outside. Um, there's something called a cityscape, and that would have a city in it, but we are making a landscape, so it's going to have land. So I want to show you an example and show you the important parts you need to have in your landscape, and then we're going to make one. So let me tilt you down. I'm going to turn this around for you and show you. So a landscape, let me tilt you a little back, back up. A landscape is a picture of land. Your landscape is going to have possibly uh, a big or small sky. That will be up to you. Your landscape is going to have the horizon line. The horizon line is the line that separates the sky from the land. So wherever you draw your horizon line, it's going to separate your sky from your land. It could be bumpy. It could be straight. It's up to you, but it goes from the side of the paper to the other side. Your landscape will have the background. That is where stuff is super small. Your trees back here are going to be small. Your houses would be um, like this little house over here, super small. Uh, you have a middle ground. That's where the stuff is medium. You see it says medium here. That's where your houses are a little bit bigger than what was in the background. Your trees are a little bit bigger. And then you're going to have a foreground. Foreground is where the stuff is in the front and it's big. This is the stuff that is closest to you. If you are standing outside and you are looking at the house nearest to you, it's going to be very large. But if you're looking way, 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 way back on a mountain, it's going to look very small. So our goal is to create a piece of artwork that has these details in it. You will find this paper on your table to help you out. So let me show you some examples. Um, we have a famous artist. She's still alive. She's still making art. Her name is Carla Gerard. And Carla likes to make unrealistic landscapes. You're not going to find um, blue and green and red and orange trees. Um, her houses do not look real, but um, she is making a landscape. You can see here she has a big house in the foreground. Way in her background, there's the sun setting over the horizon line. Okay, So she's got a sunset going on. The middle ground, she's got some houses that are um, kind of medium there. And in the background, far, far away, she's got some houses that are a little bit smaller. Notice that this is more of a rectangle shape. It's not a, a perfect um, normal shape of paper. Yours doesn't have to be. That's up to you. Here's another one of her examples. Okay, Here it's nighttime. Um, you can see she's got a big blue moon in the sky. Her trees in the background are small. Her trees that are in the foreground or well these are really in the middle ground are a little bit bigger her houses are only in the middle ground and in the foreground she just has patterns in her grass another example this was done by a student a while ago this is a fall landscape they have a big moon they have a tree in the background. There's their horizon line. The middle ground has middle sized pumpkins and the foreground has a very large pumpkin up front. They also added shadows around the tree and the pumpkin because it's nighttime and the moon is uh, putting shadows. Okay, so you can look on the chalkboard and there are lots of examples of landscapes up there as well. Your landscape can be a, paint, a painting landscape. Your landscape could be a drawing. Your landscape could be a drawing and a painting. 
your landscape could be a collage. Anything we've learned about so far, um, you get to make your landscape about. But remember the important things your landscape must have. Your landscape, I'm going to show you, I'm going to draw one right here right now. Your landscape must have, grab a big pencil, it must have a horizon line. It can be bumpy, straight. It could be at the bottom of your paper, the top of your paper, that's up to you. Your horizon line is what separates your sky from your land, okay? Your landscape has to have details. So this is my sky. I don't know. How am I going to fill this space? What am I going to have? Maybe I want some mountains far away in my landscape. I don't know. Um, maybe some hills back here. Okay. Um, my landscape must have a background. That's going to be this part. A middle ground. Now I could choose to draw it in like Carla Gerard did. She drew hers in the little section, but the pumpkin did not. They did not draw it. They have a fence here, but there's no real line for the middle ground. That's just where things are kind of medium. So that's up to you. And then you have to have a foreground. So I think I'm going to put in my foreground maybe a house uh, maybe in my middle ground i'll have a house maybe in my background i'll have a tiny house okay and then i want to think how am i going to fill the space and make this exciting because this is super boring right now so maybe i want to add this house is on a hill Maybe I want to make this house on a hill. Maybe this house is not going to be on a hill. Maybe this house, we need details okay, right for our house. That's a massively huge door. That's not very accurate for size. This must be a mansion. Maybe I'll have to add on to my house somehow. Uh, do I have sidewalks? Do I have a garage? How am I getting from here to here? Are there um, little roads that lead up the hill and get bigger as they go down the hill. Am I going to have a river? If this is a um, driveway, do I see, or a road, do I see big rocks at the bottom and teeny tiny rocks as it gets smaller and no rocks because it's so far away? You're going to make all these decisions about your landscape. Your landscape does not have to look like mine, but you do have to have the important parts in it. That's really important. I'm going to give you, oh, look, it disappeared. There we go. I'm going to give you a checklist so you can check off all the parts that you need. We're gonna practice drawing in our sketchbook. We haven't done that in a really long time and I think we need to. I want you to draw out what you want yours to look like. You need to have a horizon line. You need to have a background where things are small, a middle ground where things are medium, and a foreground where things are large. And you get to choose what your landscape looks like and what media you're going to make it in. Media is your, are your art supplies. Collage, mixed media, drawing, painting, it's totally gonna to be up to you. So in a second, we're gonna choose our paper size. You might want a normal size paper, you might want a large size paper. Um, you're going to choose uh, all the stuff you want to use around the room. We're going to do some drawing in our sketchbook first and practicing before we get started.